What are you saying guys? I'm Indiana Airfield and today we have the famous, gorgeous, kind of looking shy young Bane sitting over here. Where did you get that name from, first of all? Because uh, when I first started, I didn't want to show my face. So what I did is, one day I see the Bane mask and I was like, oh, I like that mask. Then I went and picked the Google. Have you seen the film? No. I haven't seen it about my What? No, I haven't seen it. <laughs> but at least I went and done some research and found out what he was about and then I thought, yeah, I could relate to that. Too. Does that kind of fit with who you are as like an artist? Like, yeah, that's kind of thing. Yeah, it's 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 relatable to a lot of the stuff I talk about. Do you know what I'm saying? So, like his his whole persona is about being born in the dark and all yeah. that stuff. And so I'm talking about the struggle that we live in and coming out of that. And, you know. I like that. So when you say you wanted to kind of <coughs> remain anonymous, I guess with it, why was that? Was that for any reason at all, or was it just no? It's just the, the type of idea? it's just the type of guy that I am. You know what I'm, saying? I'm a private guy. Like, before the music, I didn't have Instagram, Twitter, or something. Did you feel like you had have. to have? When yeah. you came into the industry, did yeah. you feel like you had to then have? Like you have to connect with the people, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, I guess, I know people do say sometimes like social media is a bit of a hit and miss, but yeah. I guess music, yeah, you, you kind of have to. Yeah. Well, we have all seen your social media. Yeah. You've definitely created a storm coming into the industry. How long have you been around for? Uh, if I'm not wrong, probably like eight months. Okay, cool. You definitely came in with a bit of a like the name, like you kind of came out of nowhere for some yeah. people because you know there's some artists that have been building their come up. You yeah. came out, took the industry by storm, yeah. and it was like boom. Do you feel like when you came into the industry, you you did your first few songs, yeah. you got this kind of buzz going? Yeah. Was did that create any kind of pressure, or was you ready to be like, okay, I know I'm level, so now? Yeah. See up. with the whole um, pressure thing, I don't even. It's not even like it's just. I would just release what I feel comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can just wake up one day and say, oh, I want all these two tracks today. Yeah. And I'll just drop it, which is why there is no pattern or... Yeah, there is no pattern to my releasing you strategy, just, you know what I'm saying? I just I might wake up and say, oh, I feel like this tune should be out today. Yeah, out. so you kind of just work on whatever yeah, feels good I in feel, the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Music, was you always going to do music? Was that always kind of like, yeah, I'm going to become an artist and that's what I want to do or did it kind of, where did that come from? With well, the music thing, it's like, it's always been around me, do you know what I'm saying? So my old man was a musician, okay. with the, and I was playing piano when I was a kid, but after that, I just, I don't know, I just, like, it was a joke thing, like, we'd be yeah. sitting, whatever we're doing with a man, then, and someone would put on the instrument, or just freestyle, or whatever, and it just that's how happens. it started, and then one day I just went to the studio and thought, yeah. Do it. I like that, I definitely like that, and like I said, Social media, you're popping, and you know, you do what you want when you're popping yeah. in the infamous words. Oh. How do you feel, obviously, wanting to be this unanimous guy, and then you know, slowly but surely, you get dragged into the social media? Yeah. Your responses that you've been receiving, how does that make you feel? Yeah, do you know what the response is like a it's sometimes like a motivation boost. Right? Yeah, like sometimes you might be having a down day, and you look at your Twitter or something, and someone says something nice. When you see that, you're like, you know what, I'm going to do the work. You want to do more. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? So, I like that, definitely. Yeah. That's that's amazing. And like I said, you, what have you got in store for us? I know you've got, your show is coming up. Yeah, maybe fifth. fifth. Yeah. Definitely. Make yeah, sure have I you got your ticket? There. No, I haven't got my ticket. And I know you're going to stick it on me and it's cool. But I'm going to get my ticket and I will be front row and I will be screaming. Yeah. And that's it. So yeah. don't worry about if I've got my ticket, I'm definitely going to be there yeah. during my exam period. So rate yourself yeah <laughs> but going back to that show how did that come about because obviously it's your first headline yeah. show do you feel like yeah. you've been around for eight months do you feel like it's too soon yeah but or is it just timing no i knew it would be too soon so you know it is, with the the reason why i did it is so that i want it to feel like a journey do you know what i'm saying with the fans yeah. so if i do it early and they're there at the small venues when we eventually get to the bigger venues Saying. They feel like they were part of the journey of the rather journey. than they were looking from the outside. Yeah, that's amazing. So, that's amazing. Yeah. Where did that kind of that idea? Because 
I know a few artists out there that they don't really see it as that. They're like, no, I'm not big enough to do that. I'm not big yeah. enough. What does it mean to be big enough? Or do you think it's more like if they're going to help you make you yeah. and I achieve don't, your dreams? I don't dreams, even feel like, it's about her big enough thing. It's just about yourself as an artist, isn't it? If you, I enjoy performing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I enjoy performing, and I know that that's a way to connect with people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I know I enjoy performing, and I know, obviously, I've seen the love for the music, so why not? Why not? That's amazing, um, that's amazing. So, going deeper into the music a bit more, what is your inspiration? Who is your inspiration? Chris Brown and Future. <coughs> Chris Brown and Future? Yeah. That was a very straightforward answer. Why, yeah. why those two? Because... I just feel like the certain things that they say that I can relate to, like, huh? Yeah. So they're very good at expressing situations and feelings. And do you very think it's got got to always be like an honest kind of? Yeah, I've always said music always sounds better when it's coming from an organic place because you can hear the emotion in a person's voice and every other thing. It's just more natural. And it's easier to connect because everyone goes through the same stuff. You know? Of course, and I think that that is actually a big thing in the industry. I know you get sometimes. People that are very scripted with what they not so much do as an artist musically, but like you know everything else. And I think, like I said, we've all seen your social media. It is all very honest yeah, in yeah, yeah. when it comes down to that. Is that a big thing? Is that something you want to keep with you yeah, on your music Everything journey? in my whatever I say in the song, it's what's happening in my life, or my boy's life, or it's happening around me. You know what I'm saying that's yeah. why sometimes it might come in third person, first person, but whatever I'm saying, it's all it's all it's true. true. That's really happening out here. That's it. I think it's amazing how like you've managed to kind of captivate males and females. Now some people will be like, "That's well, that's what you're supposed to do," but it's mm. not actually that easy. Like yeah. some singers can only get other girls as their fans, or yeah. male rappers can only get yeah. other males. Was yeah. that your plan to kind of appeal to anyone and everyone, or no. you just thought, "I will do me, yeah. and they will take if they so, like it, they like it; if they don't, yeah. they don't." That's all it was. I was just gonna, you know, just do me and express it. So if whatever, however the beat says, express it. I'm just gonna express it. Whether they it. like it, yeah. And whether they take it, yeah, whether they take it. Yeah. So wh who is there? Anyone in the industry that you feel like you want to work with, or is there anyone that you have worked with that you know that incorporates into your brand as Young Bay? Um, I've worked with my brother Bonks. I worked with Blair. I worked with my brother Kojo. Uh, little bands, Fredo. And do they kind of, are they all artists that fit with, yeah, with what you stand for? Yeah, especially with yeah. Little Fredo, Little Bands, Cordial, it's like, which is young black men, isn't it? Young black men yeah. doing something with our lives and not the usual stereotype. I'm not trying to be a statistic, John you know what I'm saying? I love that. I know it is important actually, I guess, especially in this day and age, we do see what goes on in the media, we do hear what goes on, and you know, black people seem to be kind of the epitome of trouble. Like, it's like, there's nothing else for us but yeah. the fact that you're kind of creating the idea and you're helping I know other people are doing it as well you're helping put forward that you know black people are more than just the statistic yeah. we are more than just you know we don't always cause trouble like yeah, we have yeah, more yeah, to yeah, us yeah. I think that's amazing so definitely well, look up yourself on that that's that's cool so what what's next for you like obviously we know the show 5th of May yeah. everyone can obviously find that towards the end of um, the interview we'll definitely have your social medias up so you can all get involved in that. Is there anything else you're trying to do this year or are you kind of taking it as it comes and what feels right? It's new music, new flows. Right? What is that? What's, what's new music, new flows? I know that sounds very like new music, new flows, isn't it? Yeah. But what, what does that mean to you? Is that kind of something it's you live by? Expect the unexpected. Yeah. I'm trying to like make any type of song as long as I'm just being myself. Right? That's cool. Yeah. I definitely rate that. I think it's, it is hard to kind of keep to yourself and like I said eight months into the industry you've created this buzz you've created this storm that people are interested in yeah. what you have to offer and I think that's that's a pretty big thing especially coming from the UK like I don't know how you feel about it yeah. personally but I've been to some shows yeah. of artists I've seen your show amazing like I've yeah. seen your performance it's crazy that you can have such energy do you feel like the London crowds reciprocate that. Do you feel like it's better outside of London? Like, what's your view on that? I've performed in London, outside of London, and I've just come to the conclusion that they feel off your energy, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They feel off your energy. However, you choose to, to express yourself on the stage, they'll feel off your energy. That's yeah. cool. That's dope. Are you trying to take it like stateside? Are you, what, what's, your, what's your plan in regards to that? Do you want to? If we're taking it anyway, we're taking it global. We're taking it global. Not just the states. Yeah. 
so you, you're happy to kind of, you know, adapt and everything else with your music to any kind of anyone yeah. in that sense, yeah. yeah. That's I mean, good. if it's the truth, everyone can relate. That's, that's, so, that's, what it is, that's so dope. I really like how you're sticking by this kind of honest, truthful yeah. base for your music. I think yeah. that is something that is important, mm. especially you're you're young. Like, just yeah. let people know how old are you? Nineteen. Nineteen. See, that's um, that's crazy. Like that you've come in and you're you're working with people like Bonkers, and you know yeah. that that he's been around. Like he's yeah. doing his thing. He's building his brand. The fact that you've come in eight months. Captivated a lot of people. How do you feel about that? Is that kind of like, does that feel good to yeah, know that course, you can yeah. relate to so many other people? Yeah. Would you that's, ready that's for that? That's the best bit about me. The ones who last the longest are the ones who are able to to connect with the people. Yeah, I definitely believe in your. I definitely believe in your brand. I think you, you've got it nailed to a T. You, you kind of know what you're doing. I think that's amazing. My team. That's. That's a different kind of mindset to have, yeah. so well done. So, just to let people know and just to wrap it up, where can we find you? Why it's N G B A N E, and that's on every single social media platform. Just on Twitter, on the gram, on the Snapchat too. Gram, active on the gram. Snapchat's open. Yeah, Snapchat's open. open. Yeah. I like that, that's cool. It gives people an insight. So, you heard it from Young Ben himself. The show is here, 5th of May. Make sure you follow him, get the tickets and everything else. And thank you for being here today. Wow, thank you for having me. No, 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 no. No. Oh. I put a model in an Uber. Uber. Cross the country chick, she knows I'm getting more like. She knows I put that work in, she waiting like a gym. You know that boy don't love you, never loved you. He love what you do for him. I put a shoot out in an Uber. Catch your homie, book a flat to where the sun's out. You know them creepies from 6'10, they get up in the zone. If we don't catch a homie, we ain't going home. We ain't going home. All the nigga does is flex now. Show money in the bank now. I just started, but these bitches treat me like a legend. Ooh, I wanna match up. I put your missus in the Uber, tell the driver, driver, so I'm getting there. Five star, I'm a rated, don't know if it's serving, so if you want the head. Hey, I'm that singing nigga, I'm that rapping nigga, I'm that nigga, nigga. Dripping all this sauce, dripping all this flavor, can't get tired of my jealous mm -hmm. Bitches know that I'm the kid, yeah Straight up out of the six, yeah Fuck with me, get your wig split All my jealous on some drill shit All these rappers talking back the summer and the year I've got it on my back Gucci Prada, though, I'm enchilada with us, did it nigga off the map, yeah And then I go straight in the Uber Destination, my cubes Told them I was the future Look at the CC, no future, hey Hey, look at the CC, no future, hey Hey Hey, hey, hey. I got hit from favela. Most of my haters, I'm gonna. I'm like I ride it to an old man. Head short, sun's dropping. Get away, drivers. Bust a shit out in a Uber. Get away, drivers. Bust a shit out in a Uber. Hey. <laughs> Last year, I was so consistent. Last year, you went missing. Last year, me and Pest spent numbers. Last year.